Silva, the Brazilian, 24 years old. Born and raised in Poland, Draval is 25. You got 6161, 204, 204, 73, 73, 14.6 stone. Official introductions from Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man holds a professional record of 14 wins with one loss. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 204 pounds, 14.6 stone. Fighting out of Krakow, Poland, Tomasz Drobal. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a perfect professional record of 10 wins with no losses. Standing six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 204 pounds, 14.6 stone, fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Tiago Silva! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Big John McCarthy. Big John receives a hero's welcome here at the O2 Arena in London, England. Tiago Silva, his second appearance in the UFC. Tomas Draval, his UFC debut. Both love to brawl. All right, here we go. You ready? You ready? Let's get it on. And here we go. Tiago Silva just runs at him. He comes out with great aggressiveness in all his fights, does Tiago Silva. Goes to his back, got a leg lock, got a heel hook. He loses it. He's got a leg again. Draval sneaks out. Big punch oh, by yeah. Draval. Draval hit him with the right hand there. And really pushing the pace is Tomas Draval. Draval's very strong. Knee to the body by Draval. This matchup could be impressive from all the disciplines. Even though they both love to strike. Especially when you look at Silva, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, under Makako, as you talked about before, I and mean, this guy's got all, all the skill set. Nice job with the uppercut. As he exits. Body kick by Tiago. Tiago. Oh, right hand by Draval. Draval looking to push forward. Look to lead with the left. One of the things about the shoot box guys, they're so used to brawling in the gym, they yeah. really maintain their composure well let's go, in the let's heat go. of the battle. High kick, nothing there. Smile on the face of Tiago Silva. Good leg kick by Draval. Pace is slow just a little bit. They both came out thinking, all right, maybe we'll score the fastest knockout in UFC history. Good left hand by Draval. Draval is throwing. Yeah, bombs. We're all really going after it here early, Joe. Jamal has Tiago pressed up against the cage. Tiago spins him around. Muay Thai clinch. Head kick missed. This is what we kind of talked about. Two, two brawling type Muay Thai guys and they match the kicks. Time, time, time. Unintentional Over indeed. Over here, got to get it up. It looks it's like be it higher. hit more of his right hip than it did the groin. It looks like it went across the groin. We'd have to look at that in the replay to get a really good look at it. It's going to take a minute to... Let's take a look at that since he's going to take some time off here. Look, see how it landed here? That's not his groin. Uh, you ready to go? Yeah, right in the package. You want more time? Are you okay? He says he's fine. And this is the one instance where the fighters can truly take as much time as they need to regather their composure. Both men... Receive some applause here from this sold-out O2 Arena. Over 20,000 in attendance here tonight. Third time in 07 we have been in the UK. Good body kick by Silva. Twice here in England, Joe. Of course, we were in Belfast, Northern Ireland. Tiago with the shot. Good takedown defense by Javal. He stopped that easily. Spins and Javal spins perfectly. Really starting to work the kicks is Silva. Draval's got heavy hands. Absolutely. And Draval is, is led with the left uppercut more than once. That time the knee. Oh. Good right the uppercut up. again. Draval doing a good job of utilizing uppercuts, Joe. 
He's not always leading with the jab. He'll lead with anything. That time he flicked the jab out. He's got Tiago fading away from those punches. Good leg kick by Duvall. Here we go. Pops his hands and says, come on at it. Well, you said these shoot guys, shoot box guys love to crawl, and that's what they do all the time. And if you train with Vanderlei Silva on Shogun, you've been beat around before. Pele Landy Johns, former UFC fighter. Good leg kick by Draval. Another check One by check. Silva. Yep. Draval looks like he's tired. You know right? what? I was just thinking the same thing. Took a big deep breath. And there's still, you know, just under 90 seconds remaining in round number one. Switching the stance now is Silva. Had that right leg. Yeah, trying to work the footwork, maybe confuse his opponent a bit. Now he's got the left leg as the lead again. Yeah, if I was in Silva's corner, I'd be telling him to pour it on right now. Javal's still very dangerous, though. Absolutely. Good sprawl again. Javal, though, a little flat-footed, as you saw, Joe. He throws everything in every punch. Mark. Nice knee to the body by Tiago. And another, another one. Javal, that's why he's so tired. Every punch he throws is throwing everything into it. But the greatest coaches will tell you, Joe, throw everything, but get that quick snap. Don't throw with all that aggression and body and, and, and gas yourself, basically. Well, you know, I mean, it's it's not like he's a classic striker. Great you know, point. It's, it's not like he's got a, a you know background as a pro boxer. He's a really strong, powerful guy who can punch hard, and he just wants to land those. Great and point. That does come with experience. I mean, if you watch a guy like Chuck Liddell, Chuck Liddell knows when to throw the power punches and when to lay off of it. Oh, oh, good shot landed by Draval. Final second of round number one. As advertised, both men more than willing to exchange in the first five minutes of the fight. Draval breathing very heavily in his corner. You know, another thing to be considered, as Silva looks much fresher in his corner, Joe, is the fact that, and you've talked about it before, that first time rush of adrenaline and nerves and jitters when you enter the octagon, that can suck your conditioning as well as the physical part of the game. Absolutely, Mike, and even though Tiago's first fight in the UFC was very quick and non-eventful because James Irvin blew his knee out, still, he did it. He got in there, did it, experienced it, and, you know, this the second time is always easier for these guys. I mean, how many times have we seen guys fight the second time and fight so right, much better? Tiago Tavares is perfect. Get it on, come on. Tonight, both men in the black trunks, Tiago Silva, with the kind of white borders, if you will. And he's really trying to work those knees now. I, I think he thinks that he's found an opening. Oh, another body kick. Very nice body kick there by Silva. Head kick. Good right hand. Wow, these guys are just slugging it. You, you know, when, when we were breaking down this fight before, when I was speaking to our matchmaker, Joe Silva, he said, watch out tonight, you and Joe. These guys are mere images of each other in a lot of ways, and they're both in black trunks, and they really are. I mean, 24 years old, 25 years old. Impressive records. You know, one man's lost once, one man's never lost. Javon might be hurt. Yep, and now one man's hurt. You swing, I swing. You swing, I swing. Who's going to land more efficiently and more effectively and perhaps more dangerously? Well, the one thing Tiago's doing is he's mixing it up a lot more. Javal is throwing the occasional leg kick, but mostly he's throwing punches. Whereas Tiago's throwing knees, he's throwing kicks. There's a knee, but a good right hand by Javal. It seems as if the pace of Silva has slowed here a bit as well in the second round, though. Even though he is uh, definitely the more versatile striker, 
The jump in his step is uh, gone a little bit. They're both showing signs of fatigue. Silva really likes the high kick. That is what he calls his favorite technique. He's gone after it a few times, uppercut. This is such a physical fight, Mike. These guys just really are you know, just throwing so much into every shot. Come on, good job. Draval speaks English, Polish, and this is also a little bit of Japanese. Intelligent man. Draval's already walking away with his hands down, breathing heavy, and there's almost three minutes left in this round. Tomas Draval, our first fighter from Poland to fight in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Hoping this is the first of many appearances. Oh, good right up cut. And he follows with a knee. Tiago might have hurt him there with that. And a good right hand again. Elbow. Tiago's got him hurt, but Javal turns it around. Javal lands a shot. And Silva doesn't want any more of that exchange. Yeah, they're both they're both putting Javal. hands on the hips now. Oh wow. Yeah. These guys are exhausted. Both men hands on the hips. But Tiago's the one to pick up the pace. This is really turning into a war of attrition, isn't it? Really, really is. Because both guys are doing the same thing, Joe. They're just swinging for the fences. Nobody's thinking takedown, jiu-jitsu, submission. And there's still two minutes to go. Yeah, straight right. And now backing up is Tomas Draval. Superman punch. That mouthpiece has come out a couple of times. Draval's really breathing heavy now. How uneasy of a feeling is it for a fighter? And both guys are in the same situation to be in there in the octagon and be gassed. That's got to be absolutely one of the worst feelings in the world. Yeah, especially when your opponent's not. Fortunately, in this case, both men are equally tired. <laughs> if, uh, I actually believe uh, Silva is in a, a little bit better shape right now. He's recovering a little bit better. But if, if I was in Silva's corner, I would be screaming out leg kicks. As Javal has his hands down and he's relaxed. I mean, look at those, le he can just land leg kicks at will there. And those leg kicks will really tire out Javal and make a much more stationary target. Thiago just looked up at the clock, checked to see what time. Fans want him to push the pace. London fans don't want to see any dilly-dallying. Good right hand, Javal's hurt. Oh, Javal is rocked. He's hurt badly. He's working on wobbly legs now. Good knee by Silva. Silva senses the Silva opportunity percent. to finish. This could be it. Silva looking to pick Javal apart. Another one for next. Down. Impressive performance by Thiago Silva, but, it, you know, both men really yep. got worn out in that fight. Impressive but fortunate in that his opponent was as gassed as he was. Very physical fight. Took a lot out of these guys. Let's take a look at the end of the fight. Here's a right uppercut. Bang. This is the very end. This is after he had him hurt. There was a shot before this that hurt him. There's a left hook that drops him, and that's a big John steps in to stop it. There's the left hook that rocked him. He stumbles to the ground, and Big John has seen enough. Now this is the right hand that hurt him earlier. And here's a couple uppercuts. Tiago Silva, he was exhausted, but he poured it on, got the job done, and finished it with that left hook. Tiago Silva, 2-0 in the UFC, a perfect 11-0 in his mixed martial arts career. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Big John McCarthy has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 23 seconds of the second round, declaring the winner by TKO Tiago.